Welcome back to YouTube. I'm Drew speaking to you for Zcode System, and today we're going to talk about the MLS season. Yes, that's right, the Major League Soccer season. We've not talked about that yet here on the channel this year, but it is a great time to talk about Major League Soccer because we have a new player coming to the league that has turned heads and put new eyeballs onto Major League Soccer. And of course, I'm talking about that man right there, Lionel Messi, who will be joining Inter Miami in Major League Soccer this summer. And as you know, if you're a soccer fan, you'll know that Major League Soccer is in the middle of its campaign right now. They are about 17 games into the season. It's a 34-game regular season before there is a playoff at the end of the campaign. And Messi will be joining Inter Miami in July. So we will be seeing Messi play in those sweet pink shirts coming up in just a few weeks as he joins the team. And he'll be there probably for the last third or quarter of the season as Inter Miami try to make a push towards the playoffs. Now, of course, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and read up there about everything that I wrote about Lionel Messi in this article. It will be up there once this video pops up on YouTube. So go over there and check that out. You can also check out any of the picks that we post and predictions, some Major League Baseball predictions there. Uh, I've also got a recent article posted about the NFL upcoming season and the Madden curse that uh, has, uh, or the, the famed Madden curse that a lot of uh, football fans think exists with the player who's picked for the Madden cover. And of course, Josh Allen is on the Madden video game cover this year. Now, before we can get into the betting odds for Miami and talk about uh, who the bookmakers believe is going to win the MLS Cup this coming season, we really need to look at the standings in the league right now. And we're going to look at Major League Soccer's website, uh, obviously one of the best sources to get information on the standings and the schedule for this season. As you can see right there, we've got uh, the Eastern Conference. Now, if you're not too familiar with Major League Soccer, Major League Soccer works like most other American, uh, North American sports leagues. There are two conferences. There are 29 teams at the moment, and those are split uh, 15 teams in the Eastern Conference and 14 teams in the Western Conference. Each team plays a 34-game season, and at the end of that 34 games, the top nine teams in each division, or each conference, I should say, they qualify for the postseason, the playoffs. And then from there, it is a knockout tournament to get to the MLS Cup Final, which will be played between the Eastern Conference champion and the Western Conference champion. So as you can see here, the Eastern Conference, which is where Miami plays their soccer, they uh, are, as I scroll down, yes, that's right, they are dead last in the conference right now. They are 15th. Now, as you can see there, the Top nine teams do make the playoffs. So Montreal is currently the last playoff team. And uh, as we can see, these are the points right here. Montreal with 22 points. They have seven more points than Inter-Miami. Now Inter-Miami have been relatively awful this season. They fired coach Phil Neville right before Messi signed, uh, which was a bit of a sign that they were going to be acquiring Lionel Messi. Uh, Messi is going to be calling quite a few shots and... The team is trying to bring in players to um, shape the squad around Messi, players he's familiar with. There's uh, a few Barcelona players that are being, or ex-Barcelona players, I should say, linked to Miami to come in uh, later this season. As you can see there, Miami has a paltry 0 0.88 points per game at the moment. And if you look at the full table uh, in MLS, you would see that Miami is the second worst team at the moment. Now, with all that said, they're only seven points away from qualifying for the playoffs and getting that last spot in the Eastern Conference. Now, I think, I believe that this is a team that can do it. Now, they've already played 17 games uh, in, in the conference. Teams such as DC United have already played 19 games. So, this is definitely something that Miami can do. They can overturn uh, this with, with Messi in the team. Now, I will say that if you go back to 2007, when David Beckham joined LA Galaxy, it took the Galaxy a couple of seasons to get uh, into the groove with Beckham and the team, and it took a couple of seasons for them to finally make the playoffs and win the MLS Cup. 
Now, with that said, Messi is a completely different player. He will be playing a more central role, and he'll be driving the team forward, and he could he could ideally score quite a few goals in his short time for the, at the end of the season in the league. Now, with that said, though, uh, I think it's going to take Messi a little bit of time to come to terms with the league. He's going to be playing with a, a lower quality of player on his team. And he's going to be playing in a league that is going to be gunning for him. There are going to be uh, a lot of players who are uh, very athletic and who will be who will be trying to make a name for themselves against the world's greatest player of the moment. Uh, now, looking at the odds for the MLS Cup, uh, the MLS Cup this year and the, and the playoffs, the outright winner odds. Now we've got these here from bet three, six, five. Of course, there are other sports books out there. So use the one that you enjoy, but my favorite sports book is bet three, six, five. So I'm going to show you those odds from there. And as you can see, Miami are right over here uh, as the ninth best or having the ninth best odds to win the MLS cup at plus 2000. Actually, they're tied there with St. Louis. Uh, St. Louis City at plus 2,000, and St. Louis City is a brand new team in Major League Soccer this season, an expansion team uh, who are having a fantastic season. But if you look over here to the team with the best odds, plus 400, that's Los Angeles FC, who is the reigning MLS Cup champion. They won it last season in uh, a fantastic penalty shootout against Philadelphia Union, who are coming in at plus 800 right now. Philadelphia winning the Eastern Conference last season. But this season's top Eastern Conference team is FC Cincinnati at plus 450 to win the MLS Cup. Now, if you are familiar with Major League Soccer, you will know that there is parity in the league. The league uh, has uh, been created or was created to have parity, so teams aren't going to have dynasties for the most part throughout um, or through in this league. So any team can be any team on any given day for the most part. And there is every chance that Inter Miami can overtake uh, the teams it is chasing in the playoff hunt and win the MLS Cup this season. Now, I don't necessarily think that's going to happen because I think they've set themselves back too far. And I can see Messi struggling a little bit when he gets to the league to come to terms with the quality around him. Now, I think that he can improve this team. I even think they could probably make the playoffs this year, but I don't think Inter Miami are going to win the MLS Cup. This is a franchise, a team, a club that has not been run very well since it uh, debuted in the league in 2020. And they, they've they gone for having some big name players and not necessarily having uh, the players around those big name players to, to make the team a winning team. And I think that that's going to continue throughout the rest of this season. Maybe it'll change next season, but I don't think Inter Miami are going to win the MLS Cup this season, but they could very well make that last playoff place.